Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today, what I wanted to do is in The Sims 4. I like to build houses sometimes in The Sims 4, and I'm not that good of a house builder, but sometimes there are some houses I made, or that I make that I'm just, I really like. So today I, I thought, you know, I just want to show you some houses that I've built at some point, because, I don't know, I just thought that it would be fun. So, there are four houses, um, well technically there are five, but I built one in the solid colored build challenge, so you can uh, see that for yourself in, uh, yeah, well, another one of my videos. Um, I'll link that one down in the description, I guess. And um, today we're going to look at these houses. So I built us, well, I, I, I picked a random sim that I had saved in my gallery that I made at some point, and I'm just gonna have him um, vi visit all our houses. He's in the gallery as well. Uh, my name on in The Sims 4 is Skylar the Just, I believe. So if you search for that in the gallery, you can probably find all these houses and this nice little sim and a lot, lo a lot more stuff. But we're not, we're not getting into that. So the outside of the house, as you uh, might have seen already, is this. Um, I, I think my idea with this house was to make it, um, I don't know, to make it like a, a hut or something, like there's a lot of wood things in there and a lot of uh, greenery and I just wanted to make this like really cozy. I mean the, the back garden is a mixed match of stuff. I have a tendency to make a really nice house and then just put put stuff somewhere in the back garden that I might want to play with at some point. Um, so don't mind the garden, but the house itself is what it's really nice. So we're gonna give ourselves a tour through the house. So here we go, we're entering the house. Um, it's a little high angle, but you, you, you'll start in the hall. I don't actually know why I put those umbrellas there. This was before I realized you can use the alt key and like place stuff wherever you want it. Um, but this is the little entrance hall. It's very cozy. You have a door here which leads to the bathroom. Um, I think this looks really nice. I haven't actually looked around in this house for a long time. So, yeah. So we have the bathroom. And if you go here, you'll get into the living room. As you can see, our sim has uh, turned on some music. I'm not really sure why <laughs> this music, but hey, it's nice and cozy. Um, so yeah, this is a little study space here in the corner underneath the stairs. And here is our kitchen. I try to make it like very kind of old timey, cozy. Like I said, a lot of wood. Um, there's a TV there, so you can place to watch television. And here's a little seating area. And I think this looks really nice, actually. I just, I'm not sure why this music. But yeah. And then this door leads to the first bedroom. Yes. So there's a closet there. I should probably have put a wall up above of this. So that the closet is like inside the wall. Um, I might just uh, fix that. But, um, yeah, so there's a little dresser there as well, like a little, nice little mirror, and this is the master bedroom, obviously, because there's a double bed. And then we can go upstairs, but I don't think there's much upstairs. I think I left that mo mostly empty. So then you go up, and then you end up here. Yeah, and, um, I oh yeah. I put the Christmas tree here because I played this in winter and I had no space somewhere else for a Christmas tree. And then here I put like some laundry and a plant. Um, yeah, so there's a room here. I didn't decorate these rooms because these were meant for kids that weren't born yet. So I just left them empty so you can decorate those uh, however you want. And there's two other ones here. So basically this is a house meant for a family with like three kids I think or four if you want to put two of them in one room and then there's a nice little balcony here 
with a nice view of the neighborhood. So that's the first house I wanted to show you. I think it's really cool. I mean, I didn't furnish those two, uh, those three rooms, but you know, I think the the bottom floor look look really well, really nice. So we're gonna move to the second house now. So here's the second house. The first house, by the way, was called uh, Lightwood Family Home, which I made for the Lightwood family. Um, so you can get that in the gallery. And this is the second home that I wanted to show you. I built this for... Um, oh my god, what did I do in the back? I'm, I don't remember doing this, and I don't think I like it. These, okay, you can delete that if you want to, but I built this for um, my uh, as my sim self with two of my friends and some pets. So that was the idea for this home. It's called the Semi Squad Home, I believe. Um, so let's give ourselves a tour in this beautiful house. So obviously we have a little front garden, nice little. Uh, mail delivery thing I actually don't know the name right now whoops uh, some trash cans and a nice little bench where you can sit down and look at the the, the another home we're gonna um, look at later um, so but then you enter there's a little entrance hall here with some uh, jackets hanging here those are clothes but the idea was just like Jackets, the stuff where you can hang your jacket when you come in. Some shoe things. I'm very articulate, I know. Um, here's the first bathroom. It has a nice. Oh, it has a nice shower that didn't glitch out. Uh, a plant, very necessary. What did I do with the wall? I fucked up with the wall there. Can you see that one wall here? This is supposed to be blue as well okay well I make mistakes uh, <laughs> and there's a nice little bathroom uh, I mean toilet yeah so let's get back to the entrance hall there we go so then we continue into the big kitchen slash living room okay we have a, a, a smart pet um, kitty litter thing here I really like this kitchen um, I don't know I always like to buy the most expensive kitchen appliances whenever I can. I like the splash of color they have as well. I mean, I think that orange and that blue just goes pretty well together. So you can sit here and, you know, eat your breakfast. Okay, you're supposed to be able to look out. Wait. Uh, yeah, you can look out the window. Um, I really need to get rid of those plants. They're not so good. But anyway, so here's a nice little kitchen, and as you could probably see from the corner of your eye, your eye the, the, the dining area really matches with the kitchen. And I really like these bright kind of colors, I guess it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I thought they looked really nice when I built this house. Um, you can have three pets in here that eat and... Here's a nice place for cats to climb and do whatever they want. There's a piano underneath the stairs. Because I wanted a piano in this house because I wanted my son to be able to play the piano. Uh, some more pet beds. A nice little living room area. Um, two little couches, books. Nice little big TV, my, little big TV, yeah, a nice big TV, and, and we have the top floor, like this, so you come up the stairs, and then you have four doors here, and I think, was there, yeah, and two doors behind you, oh wow, there's more doors than I remember, um, so we're gonna start here, oh yeah, this was the room I built for myself, I think, I think it looks really cozy and nice. I mean, obviously, I would have a computer. I have books everywhere. I have a nice little stereo somewhere. Um, closet is always nice. I'm always a big fan of those big giant closets. I don't know 
why I like them a lot in The Sims. Um, not actually in real life, but I do like them in The Sims. So, a nice little desk, nice bright colors, and obviously a double bed. Because who wouldn't want to sleep in a double bed? It's so much space. Then here we have um, another bathroom. I just thought, you know, two bathrooms, never a problem. You don't have a shower in this one, but you do have this nice bath. So, that's really nice. And then there are... Here is a bedroom, yeah, for one of my friends that I made. There's a nice little couch where you can sit down and gaze outside and do all kinds of stuff. Of course, there's a desk with a computer, because everyone needs a computer. Um, and here's some storage space, a nice little closet for clothes and books and knowing her probably also some k-pop albums and yeah i don't know i thought it looked really cozy there's a nice double bed again because who wouldn't want a double bed and yeah so then we have i think i made two empty little rooms here yeah so that's number one and that's number two um i was yeah, just in case there would be kids in this house at some point i wasn't sure but I really planned on letting my sim adopt like one or two children. So, and then this is the last bedroom for the other one of my friends. Ooh, I really, if I had built this now, I would have put that desk against the wall. Um, but I built this quite a while back. Again, I put a stereo in there because like we all love our music. So, put that. Um, nice dresser. A guitar because... A guitar because she has a guitar in her room, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know, some mirrors for the aesthetic, I guess. A black backpack because she used to have a black backpack that had like a giant zipper and it made such a horrible noise and it was amazing. Um, there's a lot of black, I realize, in this room. Um, I don't actually know, but I do like it. So that was the second house. That I oh no wait we haven't seen the back garden yet so we're back in the living room and then I don't know what my sim just did by the way but and then you have a nice little back garden so you have a place that you can have barbecues and eat together and have a great old time you can sit here to just lounge look at the neighborhood why is my sim standing there being uncomfortable what 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 are you doing um, Okay, anyway, um, and then of course there's a pool, because if I can afford it, I will build a pool in my own house, because why the hell not? Oh, I need to... Oh, I see, this is bad. I didn't put wallpaper on half of the pool. Oh, well, I'll, I'll fix it at some point, probably not. Um, at least by pointing out these mistakes, you can fix them if you download this house. So that was the second house. Um, let's continue to the next one. Okay, before we continue, I just realized I did not put a door in the fence here. So he can't enter the house, and that's why it's uncomfortable, because he needs to pee. Um, so let's continue to the next house <laughs> before he wets his pants. Okay, of all the houses I built, um, this is the, uh, the oldest one I have. Um, so I do expect to find um, some more mistakes. Um, but I built this house for a family of two parents and two kids. Um, I mean rather rich parents, so to say. What the hell did I do with that roof? I would not have done that if I had built this now. But um, as you can see, I really am a fan of this roof because it's the only roofing I ever use, apparently. So... Yeah, you could probably give it a better roof if you want, but this is the house. Um, so at the front we have obviously our mailbox, some trash cans, because those are really nice to have in The Sims. Um, oh yeah, and there's a nice little bench here where you, can, where you can just sit, look out over the neighborhood, have a great old time. Um, let's enter the house. So this again is a pretty open 
space. I really like my open spaces, apparently. My living room and kitchen are almost... Oh, why do you keep putting on music? My living room and kitchen are almost always in the same space. Um, but this is the little living room area. You have two chairs there. A nice little TV and a couch. Then you can go here for a nice little like study space with nice candles because everyone needs their candles uh, a clock I don't know why and here we had kind of like a creative area where you can dance play the piano paint and yeah read some books in a nice little chair um, we have our kitchen there I realize this kind of is a mix between, um, I'm not really sure if I can even play this music. Whoops. Um, like, I'm not sure if it's copyrighted. I might put something over it if I can. Um, so this is a kitchen. I love myself some breakfast bars, and I didn't forget the bin. Um, so yeah. Most of the house is kind of old-timey, but it's also very modern. Okay, let me just say, if I were to ha build this house now, I would have deleted the walls underneath the stairs and make sure the wallpaper is right, because this is horrible, and I'm sorry. I, I, I am. I truly am. Um, this as well. I would have definitely deleted that wall underneath here. So you can do that if you want to. Um... But yeah, modern appliances, old timey kitchen, and then we have a bathroom which is very luxurious because I like myself some luxury in my bathroom. Looks really nice. Or so I think. Now let's go up the stairs. So we arrive here, up the stairs. You can go even higher, but we're not doing that yet. We're going here first, which is another bathroom. Um. Why did I put this here? This does not fit with the look of the rest of the bathroom. Okay, well, it's an old house. Um, but I like that. And then I should really put some fences because I really feel like someone's going to fall down the stairs here. Um, yeah, this is a bedroom for a teenage girl, I think. Oh god, this really needs to be against the bed. Um, whoops. There's a nice little study area here full of books because... The girl I had here was a bookworm, so I thought, you know, let's let's make let's give her a lot of books. Also, a guitar because she likes music too. Um, nice little dresser, bed, mirror. It's kind of creepy to look in the mirror and not see yourself. Um, oh yeah, and a nice little area where you can sit and read books. So that's that be bedroom, and then this was for the. For the parents, the master bedroom. Oh, it's getting dark out. Has it been so long? Okay. Um, I put this here just because the guy I had, like the dad I had, was a athletic person. And I didn't have another place for that. Um, so, this nice little bedroom, little closet there. Which, again, I should have put a wall above that. But anyway. <laughs> and then... Let's finish the last room, which is gonna be a kid's room. So we enter the room like this. There was this art thing here because the kid was a creative person. Um, and then we have a nice little kid's room. We have a nice little bed. We have a, a, a stuffed animal. Some... Some, yeah, what do you call it? A computer, like study area, books, things, whatever. Um... And a nice little dresser, some clean laundry, and yeah, so that was home number three, and let's continue on to the last one. So this house I built specifically for this place um, in The Sims for Brindleton Bay, and then the place where the Cat Scratch Cottage is. Um, I always call that Brindleton Harbor because there's a nice little harbor here. And I just really love this lot because there's so much to see around it. It's not just boring and grass, but you have... Oh, hey. We have Father Christmas strolling around in the summer. Hello. Um, 
there's just a lot to see here and I really like this place. So I, I built this here. Um, I built this house for um, myself and then one other, si one other sim that I just made and randomly put in a house with myself. And then just an empty room just in case I would add in some more sims. So let's let's visit this nice little house in tap mode or whatever. So this is the entrance hall. It's pretty busy, but I thought you know you need a place to hang your coat. I needed a place for cats to be able to shit, and I wanted this in the house too. So I put that there, and then hello. This is the way to the living room. We're really high up. It's like we're God or something. This time we're not as high up. So this is the living room, um, I have, hello, a bookcase here, uh, radio there, my sim is standing, oh, standing at this right spot watching television, um, you have a nice little corner here where you can just, you know, sit, watch television, look at the plants, oh yeah, I built this in Christmas, so that's why there's Christmas stuff here, um, or in winter, not in Christmas. Ooh. Uh, yeah. So this this part, I really like getting this couch from pets, and then or from cats and dogs, and then make this kind of area with a lots of windows that you can just like sit here and look out. I I re really like that in my own house. Um, you can have dinner here or there, whatever you like. Um, this kind of kitchen was actually an idea that I kind of stole from uh, Deligracy in one of her house builds, just having like uh, these counters between walls. I really thought that looked cool, so I I, I, I stole that. Um, so this is the nice little kitchen, here's the fridge, and here is a nice counter. It's like I said, I love myself some breakfast bars. There's a lot of yellow in here, but I kind of... I, I think it works. If you don't like yellow, this is probably not the highest for you the house for you, but I think it works. Um, got some plants there, and this is the kitchen. So, we're gonna, oh, not, I didn't really want to go through the wall, but we're gonna go out, and we're gonna go to the next room, which is the bathroom, I believe. Yeah, hello. Um, this is a nice little bathroom. I really like, it's kind of clean, luxurious, but not like, why are you crying? Did, what did you do? Oh, I'm sorry. I have no idea why he's sad. Wait. He's sad. Oh, from low social. That's kind of sad. Go outside. Hello. Friendly introduction. Um, well, let's continue with the house tour. So this was for a musical person. I put the music table here and the guitar there. Nice little computer to study, double bed, dock calendar, because why the hell not? I mean, not. And yeah, oh yeah, and I've got these two because they I, I found them and I thought they were cool, so I just put them here. A nice little dresser with some clothes hanging up there and some storage above I guess and body care essentials and yeah and then we're gonna go to the last room which I'm really proud of I basically oh so you get up the stairs here like this and then there's some more cat stuff there because I thought the cat needed this and then we're gonna enter my favorite room of this house I basically built this room uh, with the idea of let's make my own ideal bedroom so I did there's a nice place for my computer next to some windows where I can just stare out and look at this gorgeous gorgeous town um, yeah so I can see I've as you can see there are a lot of books because that's just what my rooms are there's books everywhere um, I actually put this um, piano through the wall. I know if you have city living you can put like a keyboard um, but I did I, I, I don't have that expansion pack yet and I needed to do something I didn't have place here to put an entire piano 
but I do like playing the piano so I needed it so I just glitched it through the wall so as you can see this is the roof um, yeah I just I did made it go through the wall and it looks kind of beautiful so there's some plants there there's obviously bookcases with lots of books I love myself some bookshelves here's the closet hello some nice little clothes uh, yeah, and then this is the bed with some nice late yellow touches, mostly green because I like green. And I also like the the, the stones. Whoa, uh, the masonry, the I don't really know. Stones, some fairy lights, some posters, some books because that's that's me. And yeah, and obviously a nice view over. I mean. This is honestly the best view. There are cats. There's water. And I really want to live here. And a mirror, because I like seeing myself. So, I hope you liked seeing my houses. Um, I really like building them, and I really like showing them, because I'm just really proud how they turn out. Especially this, like, you, you need to know how much time I spent to make this roof line up. Because these are two different roof pieces I made so I could put... Uh, a room here and as you can see they don't completely line up sometimes if you turn them around in a certain way you get this kind of line here but I still think I did a pretty good job on this so uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up you can also subscribe down below if you want to you can also check out my tumblr below if you want to um, yeah, there's, I think that's all the stuff you can check out below, um, and then I'll see you guys next week. Bye!